stock one okay just now hope you mm -hmm. received it yeah i don't i mean yeah is it did you just send me today yeah yeah i don't have that yet so download five it minutes. Okay. no five minutes back five minutes back i just done it okay oh, okay no i just we are just going for the concept of storage store storage we just got because in uh, vmware we never involved in the storage as much okay only mm -hmm. the we will be creating the lun okay while mm -hmm. giving the lun we need to mount that into the data store in the data store means a host okay no host will need to be uh, add that lun into the data store that is the only task we will be doing it okay so all the vm will be storing on the data store actually so each data source should have 20 percent of uh, the free space should be available should be always normal and green okay it should not be give a warning or something if it's give warning so we need to ask for the new mm -hmm. storage LAN. okay mm -hmm. for uh, vm production because we cannot be able to give that uh, in case of 400 GP, we cannot be able to full the 390 GP, correct? 390 mm -hmm. or 395. Mm -hmm. So we always should be have 10 to 20 percent free space should be available on each data store. Okay. Okay. So I just going to teach you the background of which the storage will work. Okay. We are mm -hmm. not going into the in depth of storage as per the VMR. So what is the required? What is the thing we are just going to do for the three days? Okay today mm -hmm. tomorrow and the day after tomorrow so okay three days only the storage okay mm -hmm. so on uh, next week monday and tuesday we will go for h and drs on okay. wednesday thursday friday it's your uh, lab lab means whatever the doubt or anything mm -hmm. we, uh, we can be able to clear it okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah so totally we just got five type of storage one is direct attach Fiber channel, mm -hmm. FCOE, ISKC, and NAS. NAS is we call it as NFS. Okay, that is the only file system we will be connecting to the VM actually. Uh, so, okay, direct attached fiber channel, hmm. FCOE, and ISKC. Which one is famous, right? So nowadays we are using only the fiber channel and NAS. N NAS. Two. Yeah direct attach we never used it so previously they used and now they are not going to use so fcoe is so a new technology. yeah which one uh, use a fiber channel and uh, iscosy not popular anymore you say no fiber channel and nas are now more popular are more popular mm -hmm. and now they are people are using much okay okay direct mm -hmm. attach and iscosy slowly down now Okay. okay. And, and what about um what about the VSAN? What what is the require for VSAN? Which is storage type uh, is used? VSAN is a local storage, right? So local SSD, storage. yeah, local storage we can able to combine. We are not mm -hmm. talking about that VSAN because the local storage we are combined into the uh, virtual storage, correct? SSD mm -hmm. and uh, I show you right on the name. Right. SSD yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. SSD plus CASI should be combined, Cause, correct? Yeah. yeah. So now we are not using here. That is a different, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you are not using any of the storage, then you are going for VSAN, then that requirement should be suit, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we are just going for fiber channel and NAS is the NAS. Main, uh, main NAS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the practical, okay? So mm -hmm. fiber channel, we don't have the uh, lab here lab means uh, we don't have the uh, storage so we just going for the ice casey how to create the lun how to mount mm -hmm. the lun and you can able to i can able to show how to do that okay okay for fcoe is a new technology it will the fiber channel it's a 8 gp of speed of data okay mm -hmm. and whereas in fcoe we just got 10 gp of speed so that is a more uh, difference and it will be very fast rather than your fiber channel. Mm -hmm. So the cost is four core or something. So full setup, if you want to do any setup, right? So mm -hmm. It will be cost more. So some of the company, they will go for FCOE. Some of the company, they will go for a fiber channel. 
that depends upon your uh, requirement okay mm -hmm. just note it down so okay. let me know. what is the full form of fcoe fiber channel over ethernet oh, oh over ethernet okay yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. Shall we go? Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, if we want to do, okay, which storage you are taking means, so that storage should support all the things, correct? So, mm -hmm. I told that both from SAN, okay? So, RDM I just going to tell now. So, mm -hmm. Vmotion, HADRS, all the things should be do, okay? Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do any storage boot from SAN and RDM, then they you can be able to use a NFS. Okay. Okay. But it's the file system. So in a local environment, if you are having only the 10 VM, okay. So that is a production or something. Okay. If you mm -hmm. are using the, one of the, you think that Ford is one of the plan, uh, one of the company. Okay. They are using mm -hmm. multiple uh, uh, vendor or something, right? So each mm -hmm. area there are some vendor. Okay. In production, mm -hmm. they will use the fiber channel, but client they will be using another because only the ten machine will be work on the client machine, correct? Right. So there should not be uh, there should not be need to be installed the fiber channel, but all the production servers. It will be installed in the fiber channel in the main data center, but in the client they can able to use the NFS. So mm -hmm. like that, whenever it's a cost cutting or something, we can be able to use the NFS actually. You got it? Mm -hmm. Why when we we'll use the NFS network? NFS is nothing but the network file system. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I will return. Yeah. Okay. Now we will go for one by one. I just going to teach you fiber channel of its uh, structure. Okay. Mm hmm. So how many bus? Eight, seven? No, generally I just, it's a small example. Okay. Mm. So first five or this, okay? It's we call it as O E O S. O S is nothing but what is that thing? Operating system, right? Mm -hmm. So now in uh, in storage we call it as O E, okay? We call it as O E operating environment, okay? Mm -hmm. First five it will be contain all the OS part 
like in uh, FC, we call it as EMC. It's one of the company, right? You know, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, Fiberton, EMC. Yeah. EMC, the first five orders, they will use for the OE, operating environment, okay? In that, mm -hmm. which type of OS they will use, right? FLAR, F-L-E-A-R-E, -E, is a, one of the components they will be used, okay? What is FLAR, mm -hmm. okay? Fiber. Logic array runtime okay this is a full form of flat F L A R E okay mm -hmm. so that OS it will be installed whenever the R disk the below is the R disk bus one bus two bus three n number of R disk it will be combined okay so if in case of what is got failure or something the alert is go to the emc and they will be rectified immediately because this is how the emc it will be work all the storage we they have one one operating system okay flat so it will give all the alert to the emc where where is a or this failure or something it will be give all the information so total we call it as d D E D A E disk array enclosure. How we call it as this? It's totally. It's a, we are just having the disk, right? Fully. Mm -hmm. Array means what is array? A sets of uh, I guess array and sets of disk. Correct. The the, the right one, right five, something mm -hmm. we are uh, doing, right? So that mm -hmm. is a thing. <coughs> E means enclosure. Enclosure means we are it's all closed. We cannot be able to see as a open, correct? Mm -hmm. So we call it as whole structure as D A E disk mm -hmm. array enclosure. You now understand how is the thing? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Note it down. Let me know. <coughs> yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Shall you proceed? Mm-hmm. So now we just are having the, all the disk, okay? Mm. We don't have the power. Power is the main, correct? For without the power, we cannot able to power on this thing, correct? All right. So now we just having the power. What is the power? How it's working? Store a browser A, store a browser B. We call it as store a browser A and store a browser B. Okay, that is B, not M. Okay. Okay, what is store a browser A and store a? Because one cable it will be connected directly to the one of the thing and one cable it will be connected in the retency why means one storage browser a goes down automatically all the uh, traffic will be go most to storage browser b you got it or uh, mm -hmm. it's a little bit confused or something um that's a store process you said or store pro procedure Story processor, story processor A, story processor B. Processor? Yeah, processor. Okay, okay. It will be contain all the motherboard, like a hard disk, right? Like desktop, motherboard, mm -hmm. like that it will be there. <coughs> okay, story processor A and story processor B. Like uh, like normal machine right we just got mm -hmm. all the things okay? yep. yeah correct now it will be connected like as it is see this is how it will be connected
Okay. So, the brass is one is connected, one is another is because due to redundancy, we are just done it. Okay. Now, okay. Now, I'm just going to create one more, okay? Now you got it. Now, mm -hmm. top of that, we just have this array in closure, correct? Mm -hmm. Bottom, we just having sore process A, sore process B. Now, it's two things that's been coming, correct? Mm. So, previously, we done only one and one by one, correct? Mm -hmm. It's separate one. Now, it's combined. So, here, why, what we call it as disk processor enclosure. Mm -hmm. DPE. What is this? Top of that, we just having the disk. Bottom, we just have the processor. It's fully closed. Okay. There are two type of method. So one is disk separate and processor will be separate. Or disk and processor will be combined. Mm -hmm. Okay, storage team, this all come uh, having by the storage team, not by you. I'm just giving you how it's look like. Okay, you got mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Now. Okay, here yeah, now the SPA and SPB, it will be connected one of these switch. We call it as fabric switch. Okay. Mm -hmm. From that, it will be connected to ESSOs. Okay. Here we call it as one of the card as HPA. I told in the first class, right? Mm -hmm. HPA. Host bus adapter. Correct. That need to be connected to the host. From there, it will be connected to the fiber switch. Now, this is the structure. Any doubt? This is how it will be work. Mm -hmm. No, any doubts neither. So no. uh, you understand, right? How it's connect? Yeah. yeah. Because because the company will ask. So how is uh, storage is connected to the host? Okay, we have to draw mm -hmm. this diagram and tell them this is how it will be connected. Okay. Okay, in Vipro they asked me. That's why. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. They have to. They have given me the pen and they told to draw mm -hmm. the structure how its uh, storage is connecting. Mm. That's why I don't want to mess up this thing. So it will right. be. Really no, easy. either you can have a store. The way I have it connected is a host bus adapter, and then I have a the uh, fiber switch. Um, yeah, uh, that's the thing. Yeah, correct. Same thing, right? Same yeah, thing it's the same. Be. Whatever, depending on what well, I have a SAN environment, so it's a fiber switches and then connected to the the. Uh, no, what are the? I put the diagram. It's the same thing, right? The right. difference. Mm -hmm. 
Is there no. any difference you face? No, 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 it's the same. Yeah. Oh, great. And for redundancy, there are two host <laughs> bus adapter. I have a two, I mean, two adapter on a uh, switch. Yeah. On the host, yeah. I have a two as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We should have the same thing. Yeah. Same. Because, uh, because yeah, if it's a redundancy. So, right, one yeah. Host, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, we are just moving into the data store. What is data okay. store? Data store is the logical storage unit that can be used this space on one physical drive or some several physical devices what is that mean means so we are just combined now we just have the orders correct mm -hmm. here 100 gb here 200 gb or something we are just putting it mm -hmm. here 400 gb 800 gb 1 TB or something, we are just putting it, correct? Mm -hmm. So now, your recommend is 1 TB, okay? Your recommend is 1 TB, okay? One TV, what, okay. what are the possible way to combine the 1 TB orders? 1 into... 1 dB, that is the one thing, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the 1 dB. Then, so what are the combined? Four oh, there's a zillion two, of two. a zillion of uh, combination depending on what type of hard disk correct. you have. Correct. These are the possible way we can able to make it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two times 500, or you can do that, uh, ten times 100. <laughs> Yeah, because we cannot be able to know because they right. will be giving us a LAN, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. with right. one TB. But mm -hmm. we never know what, how many combination of uh, all this we never understand, right? Mm -hmm. That's how the uh, LAN it will be there, okay? That's why they are telling the data store is a logical storage unit that can use this space on one physical device or several physical devices so we never know that how many disk will be attached in there one db LAN. okay that's why they are mm -hmm. mentioned you want it right shall we move up mm. hold on okay okay so what does mean data store once you get the LAN, will be uh, mounted as a what data store correct the yeah. data store what will be giving all the virtual machines template mm -hmm. and the iso that is how they are mentioned Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now there are one thing is that and push and push. So the, this is the difference, okay? We are just having the three type of version, okay? Mm -hmm. VM, VMFS3, VMFS5, yeah. and VMFS6. These are the three type of version. The VMFS6, it's uh, came on VSPS 6.5, <coughs> mm -hmm. okay? The VMFS, it's came on uh, 5.0. Mm -hmm. So VMFS3, it's stopped at VSPS 5.0. Okay. Okay. You just note it down. It will be very useful for you. Yeah. Right. I just I'll, I'll that one is on the paper, right? On your document that you sent me, right? 
no 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 this not send so i'll be sending oh, can, yeah send send me this one too um all your thing because otherwise i would have a hard time no i cannot just write down everything mm -hmm. yeah, yeah just for simple because i just sharing all the differences i just have all the right yeah no that's good to know the uh, different between two three version what is a uh, yeah, yeah yeah that's why that's why i'm telling you okay i will just mm -hmm. do that one. okay we'll go one by one okay mm -hmm. so there are available block size this is the one they which was have previously as 1 mb 2 mb 4 mb and 8 mb okay mm -hmm. previous version in vm of us 3 we just have the combination of this type of things okay mm -hmm. i tell you what is that mean One MB is equal to two fifty six GB. Okay. Yeah. Two MB is equal to five twelve GB. Four MB is equal to one TB. And eight MB is equal to two TB. So which one is faster? What is eight? What eight MB? What are you writing to? <coughs> See now the, uh, the block size file five block size exactly the file block size is the one MB is equal to maximum we can able to make it as two this is GP only okay mm -hmm. so if the data store you just make it as one MB is equal to two digits but you cannot be able to store more on that particular data store okay mm -hmm. in previous version okay in uh, VM of us three okay these are the things we have faced in if you are using 8 mb is equal to 2 tb means we can able to use but block size is a 8 mb so the file size will be very big so read and write will be very slow, slow. you got it yeah, now same one. same thing they have made in vmfs 5 1 mb is equal to 2 tb what happened right the the file block size will be 1 MB, but uh, data we can able to store up to 2 TB. 2 terabyte. Yeah, it will be very fast, right? The, the size of amount will be also the very small. You got it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how the combination. This is how that the available block size they have mentioned okay mm -hmm. so the partition size the partition size is we call it as mbr is a master board record we will be using in the mm -hmm. vmf3 okay but mm -hmm. in vmf why we will be using the grid partition table so what is the difference between mbr and gpt actually mm, i don't know i know the master board record that's where the when you have a primary disk it holds your master boot record in there uh, with partition table. <laughs> Sorry. So actually the MBR we call it as two maximum the file limit is two DB actually. I didn't understand what was it again? the mbr right the mbr while creating the disk size partition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you use mbr max and match you can able to make it as 2 tb not more than that okay mm -hmm. if the file system is more than 2 tb you have to go for gpt partition oh yes. okay so that's okay so yeah because the sql or oracle if you go for mbr again you they have a vfs VMFS 6.0 now or the 4? 
Is it three, I five, know. and four, six? Correct. What is the other version, uh, current version? Three, five, three, five and six. This is the current version, actually. Okay. Three, five, and six, okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. always we'll, if the file system should be more than two dB, then you have to go for what? GPT. Uh, okay, so you have GPT, to think about right? that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, one more thing. If you are using VMFS3, you want to go for upgrade of VMS5, we can able to do directly. Oh, what was it? No. If you are using VMFS3, previous version, Okay, mm -hmm. now we are just doing VM of uh, VSPF 5.5 you have installed. Okay, mm -hmm. now we are just going to upgrade from 3.32 uh, version 5. Okay, mm -hmm. is that uh, directly upgrade is a uh, fine or we need to mm -hmm. move the VM to VM of 5 and then uh, VM of the partition should be dismounted. Which one is the correct way? The second one, you have to move the VM, repartition it, and then um, upgrade because it. We, because correct. you cannot just uh, because it holds master boot record, so you have you have to do clean. No, that is one more thing, mm -hmm. and one more thing they are told right. Whatever mm -hmm. the um, block partition, if you mention okay, eight MB block size is equal to two uh, two TB, same oh, it will that's be right, right. Same yeah, it will it, be same. Right. So that should not be happen for that. They will go for mm. the new LAN and all the mm. VM it will be moved to that uh, LAN and they will be dismounted. This is how they will be working. Mm. You got it. Mm -hmm. That's why they supported auto because it will be upgrade. But whatever the file system is totally the same, not for the one TV. It will not be mm. converted into one TV. Whatever the adjusting uh, block size is available, it will be the same. Mm. Okay. So, what is the difference between VMS 5 and 6? Okay. So, you access for ESS and earlier? Yes, no. Because 6, it will not be support. Only 6.5, it will be support. Okay. Mm -hmm. Automatic space recombination. What does that mean? Means previously we need to go and check and with the face is available we need to reclaim okay mm -hmm. oh, now okay. that already it's available in vm of a search so if the space is available it already it will be combined all the reclaim and get the bench mm -hmm. amount of data will show it will be there okay the mm -hmm. minus pair inclination via vsp cli same okay we are using only ess mm -hmm. cli actually okay mm -hmm. So GPT storage device partition already I told right GPT mm -hmm. yeah. same thing the MBR storage device partition yes for the VMS data store which is upgrade from VM of first three no it will not we never cannot be able to do upgrade that only directly VM of first we can able to make it okay the block mm -hmm. size is the same on MB is equal to here also we are using the one MB okay there is no difference so it will be same nothing is uh, much difference actually mm. okay i just share this document to you okay okay mm -hmm. so that you can able to see that this is a vm of spy and i told about the vm assets also okay mm -hmm. so now Just a minute. I just open that link. Now we are just going for SCSI. Okay, there is one thing is available. Runtime name. What is the runtime name actually? Is that VMHBA? Number, channel, target, and LAN. Hmm. Okay, VMHPA, where it is located? VMHPA is sure in the host, correct? The card, correct? 
Mm-hmm. You've seen the HP card actually? Yeah. You saw right? Mm-hmm. So in that HP card you have port number, right? Port we just have port two port number. Right? Mm-hmm. Zero on one. That is how the channel. That is a, that is the thing we call this channel. Okay. The target. Target is nothing in the fabric switch because we never know the target where it is come from. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that is the target. Okay. Len. Len already I just told that the storage combination. Correct. If you are mm-hmm. asking for one TP. So they will be giving the ONTP and give the LAN ID as 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or something. Correct? Mm-hmm. So that is how they are mentioned. That is how the runtime name it will be all. So a runtime name is call it as VMHPA number channel target and LAN. You got it right? Yeah. I'll show you where it is be located tomorrow because tomorrow we are just doing the practical actually. Okay. 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 Uh, today we are just going for theory part. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if you have any doubt tomorrow morning, you just ask me. Once okay. it's done, then you'll go for installing the the okay. LAN function. Okay. So tomorrow mm-hmm. we'll be finishing the LAN. Always work. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is a VMHP. Okay, fine. Now you just ask for the new data store actually. Okay, for one TB. But while rescanning it, you can see one more one TB with the same LAN. Okay, mm-hmm. you never know which one is the new LAN which was given by the storage team. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. So again, you will be asking that I can able to see two LAN with the same LAN, same name. So I just want to know that which LAN is the new one. So how to identify that means we can go and choose network address authority. They will be giving N and A number to you. Okay. For each LAN, they have one and one N and A number. Okay, from that you can able to identify that which LAN is a new LAN for you. Mm-hmm. You got it? I had to see it exactly. Uh... No, we cannot able to see this thing. Okay, this is the technical we have to know and see. The network address authority is a unique logical unit number identify mm-hmm. guidance to the present account report. Okay, mm-hmm. so the NNA number it will be shown when you are creating because tomorrow we will go for the ice right? So we are not using the fiber channel, correct? So it will show mm-hmm. that so in, instead of NNA number, we will be using IQN. Okay, that is the difference. Mm-hmm. You got it. So in mm-hmm. fiber channel, while creating in the LAN, it will be shown as NNA. You've seen, right? And okay. I just show you the diagram. Then mm-hmm. you can understand. Yes, I just show you.
Oh my god. The path they have given us VMHP. This is the thing it will be shown. Here you mm -hmm. can able to see the LNDA number actually. Mm -hmm. Previously, see this is the thing I told. VMF is 3 and 5. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the three version it will choose that there are three type of partition. You have to give it and uh, select it. See, mm -hmm. one MB plus size. This thing in VMFS5 it will not be shown because it will be only, only one. The one, one correct. Mm -hmm. Actually, tomorrow I can show you that N and A number. Okay, but okay. It's not available. No problem. Yeah, this is the thing. You can able to see now VMHPA mm -hmm. card. Okay, this is the runtime name, correct? In mm -hmm. that they are using NNA number, correct? See, you can yeah. able to see in the red. This is how it will be thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Okay, great. This is how they are telling now. This is the NNA number of that VMR. Sorry, runtime name. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is how we can able to identify. Okay. So now, one more thing. I see this already. Look, I know it's my dog. Sorry. <clears throat> now, there are two things. It's combined. Okay. The storage policy. There are three type of policy we will be having it. Okay. One mm -hmm. is. See, this is the thing. The multi, because previously we never used a uh, uh, algorithm or something. The uh, the storage policies, okay. The storage policy we just having three things. One is MRU. Mm. I just wrote it down. MRU is uh, nothing but most recently used. You heard it. Fetched and raw ramen. You ordered this thing? Yeah, but I don't know how you using it most uh, recently used. What is that? Uh, how, uh, what is the... What are we talking regarding to how the data will travel or uh, from host to um, the storage? Yeah, I'll tell you. So normally, uh, we'll be having the HP card, okay? In that HP card, the traffic should go right in the same card or different card or something, okay? E one data, we should not uh, reach from the four card, correct? Sorry. You just having the one data, which was available in the data store. Okay, so mm -hmm. for that you are just reading it. Okay, while reading the all the four path, it's open. So the data will be very slow or not. Reading it should not be slow because you just accessing from the four path. You got it. One, two, three, four. The HP card has zero one. Correct. Another card has zero one. Correct. You are not uh, telling that only one path should be accessible. That's how the thing it should not be accessible. Then it will be very fast. Correct. Now you never done the policy as made as the one card is uh, active. That's how the thing is passive. Correct. All the four path is open. The same data is it will be accessible from the all the four path. Correct. You got it or still you got confused. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm confused. I don't know what exactly you trying no. to tell me. Okay, you have own data. Okay, you just want to accessible the data. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you just have in the HP card. Okay, in that HP card, you have two port, correct? 0 on one and another card 0 on one, correct? Mm -hmm. So you have a two cards, H2 HBA card, each has a two port, right? Correct. So there is four correct. path to four the suite. Path. Correct. So okay. from four path, it will be accessing that particular data means it will be very slow or not. It will be very obviously slow, right? So each path it will be contacting that particular data and getting the uh, information and it will be accessible, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct or not? So if you are using the only one path, it will be very fast, right? So there is no dependent, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is how the survey policy has come. Okay? Mm -hmm. We just having MRU, fixed and round robin. Okay, the MRU what they are telling right the one card we can able to use that one is active one is passive So no need to give all the four path should not be accessible Only one path should be accessible in case of is down then alternately the secondary passive path will become the active mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. in fixed both the path will be active Okay, in yeah. case, in case the one path is goes down, okay, the alternate path will be up, but once uh, the first path is rectified and it's working fine, it automatically it move from that uh, second card to first, okay, but mm. in MRU, it will not go, so once the first card is goes down, that's, that's it. So second card only the active, first one it will be the passive card. Mm -hmm. That is the difference between MRU and the first one. So round robin has it like uh, if I have a two card on host, one will work active active and the other one will pass you pass it. No, round robin totally different. It's the load balancing. Okay. So it's totally load balance. So, so. he, so it it will be knows that so which path we have to go and fix it okay it's a load balancing kind of mm -hmm. thing in network card we will be found that load balance right mm -hmm. so it's work the load balance so each uh, the management network card you have to pass to vm nic zero so v motion should be passed to the vm nic one correct the virtual machine we have to go for um, uh, nic two or three we are just given like that right so mm -hmm. round robin is the same. It's a load balancer. Okay, we can make it as active active or active passive. It will be load balance according to that. If you select the round robin, it will choose that any one of the path and it will be move it up. Okay. You got it? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'll give the. I'll show you the definitions. Yeah, the host use an automatic path selection algorithm rotating through all active path when connecting to active passive array or through all available path when connected to active active array. You got it? Mm -hmm. The RR is the default for the number of array that can be used with both active active and active passive array to implement a load balance across path to different length. You got it? So they mm -hmm. have told that it's a load balancer. 
load balancing across path for different LAN. So always means you have to select, then it automatically it will be balanced. Mm -hmm. So no need to do anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it's fixed, the OS use as a design preferred path if they will be configured. Otherwise, if select the first working path discovered at booting time, if you want to OS to use the particular preferred path specifically, it manually. So you have to do that particular path should be done. You have to go to that particular path means you have to set that manually. We cannot be able to change it. Okay. The fits is the default policy for most at active storage devices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If the was use the default preferred path and the path is red, a new path is selected as preferred. However, if you explicitly design the preferred path, it will remain preferred even if it became inaccessible. So otherwise, what happened? So if the card is dead, again it will be moved to another thing. Once it's back, again it will be taken up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just copy and paste to you. Just keep it thing. Okay. Okay. So you never do nothing because they they always they go for the round robin actually in all mm -hmm. the companies. I'm not sure what about your company. Mm -hmm. In previous for me, it's they made it as uh, actually the round robin. In your company, which what type of policy are you using? I I don't have a SAN. Just oh. have a local storage on my so vmware i don't have it on hyper v i have a uh, sand okay in hyper v what type of sand you are using i have a uh, dell um, dell storage it's a dell um, compellent okay great great As okay tomorrow fiber, we just fiber storage. Storage. yeah Okay, great. Tomorrow we are just going for one of the learn how to create that ice casey. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once it's done, so tomorrow we are just doing for practical. I did teach you how to create the learn uh, all the stuff because the learn how it's mounting that is the only task for you. But how what is the how we are creating that task is a third party tool. Okay, we are just using mm -hmm. the third party. It's only for lab use, not in the production environment. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow again we are just meeting at five uh, match in five fifteen. I just uh, connected tomorrow. Okay. It will okay. be easy for you. So tomorrow we'll just go for practical of storage so that you can work on 